In this first video, I'm going to demonstrate to you how to log into your website to make changes to it using the OmniUpdate OU Campus Content Management System. The way to do that is to browse the website just like a site visitor would. So in this case, we're going to go find the Tech Prep website. You can search for it using our search field or go to the departments list, which is an alphabetical list of departments. So I'll go to the alphabetical list. You can jump to the group of letters that you want to look at. Since I know Tech Prep starts with a T, I'm going to click on TUVW. Here's TU, so there's the link to the Tech Prep site. So I'm going to click on that. So at this point, I haven't done anything different than a site visitor would. But I want to edit some information on this page, and I need to log in to do that. So once I'm on the Tech Prep site, I'm going to scroll down to the bottom of the page, and I have this last updated date stamp here. It shows the last time the information on the page was updated using the Omni Update system, or in general, uh, even if someone doesn't understand that we have a system that manages this for us, that helps us to edit it. It does give a visual representation of the last time the content on this page was modified. So to log into Omni Update to edit this page, we would click the link here on this page. We would then log in using the username and password provided to, to you. And that's it. So at this point, you're now logged into the page, and you can select a region of the page for editing, which will be discussed in video number two.